Here's how you can make Bun de Fish from Craig of the Creek. Little Lolo's peanut butter. I spread it on top of a pan de sal and top it with a gummy fish. She did it. She made a peanut butter sandwich better. The fluffiness of the bread, the creaminess of the PB, the gumminess of the gummy. I don't know, Craig's always overreacting. I don't get how he's so amazed by foods that are just super simple or basic. It's like he's never tasted anything before. I wouldn't say this is better than a peanut butter sandwich. It's pretty much the same thing, but I did get a ube filled pandesal. I don't know if that makes any difference. It does taste good, but it's honestly quite similar to a regular peanut butter sandwich, except there's no real jelly apart from the gummy fish, I guess. Okay, the gummy fish does make it a little bit better. It reminds me of one of those nostalgic Bigfoot gummies. I don't know, so far, Wayne was the only guy who could actually cook on this show. All the kids' recipes, they're slacking, but I do have to give it to Craig of the Creek for being a bit more diverse in their cuisine because they always try to get recipes from different cultures. And I guess Lola's peanut butter is actually a real brand or it's influenced by a real brand called Lily's. So I do like how they put in that extra effort to actually reference real life ingredients or real life recipes. But unfortunately, this one isn't crazy. It's just a regular PB and gummy sandwich. I'd give it a 6.4 out of 10. It's all right.